Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a quick little video about how I basically force villagers out whenever a villager visits my campsite. Um, I want to put in a disclaimer just in case you can hear it in the background. There are people doing weed whacking. I'm not too sure or if a plane passes by. I do live pretty close to a highway so I never know whether or not it is you can hear any of it. Um, if it's really bad, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and re-record. So with this campsite villager method thing, I've done this several times and it is a bit tedious and a process, but if you have a villager that you really want that is visiting your campsite, then I think this process is completely worth it. I was not aware of this method until my friend Mariana coached me on it, so shout out to her. I'm not 100% sure if everyone is aware of this method, so I wanted to share this resource. I've used this method maybe a handful of times, and it is how I got Miss Diana, Ketchup, Static, and Marcy, which is funny because I will be using this method today to kick out Marcy. Um, before we get started, please remember to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell if you want to know whenever I upload. I've been posting Animal Crossing focused videos, but I intend to get the ball rolling again on content outside of Animal Crossing. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing you want to do is check your campsite to see who visited. This is actually my first villager at my campsite in like two months, literally. If it's your dreamy or if you're just desperate to get a villager out that you've been wanting to kick for a while, you can go ahead and start the campsite method. In my case, I had Chevre at my campsite, which I was super happy about. She is not a dreamy of mine, but she is a villager I would love to have short term. There are several situations that can happen once you start the process. So the first one being the villager will ask you to play a game with them for a prize and you don't necessarily have to do this at all and it won't affect them actually moving in. So for the purposes of time and the video, I decline all of the offers she made. Second, the villager will ask you to move in without even prompting the card game and will go straight to resident services. They'll come back and say there's no room but that they heard someone was thinking of moving out and will randomly choose someone. Now this part is the most important thing in this whole process. If they choose the villager you want to kick out, then perfect. If they don't, you have to immediately close out the game without saving it. So that means basically just hitting your home button and closing out the game itself without saving it again. Third, the villager will ask to move in. You'll say yes, but they will just say no straight out because they are not sure, which is fine. Just keep with the process and keep asking them. Fourth, the villager will ask to move in. You'll say yes, but they aren't too sure, so they'll prompt a card game. Now, the card game is completely random, and there isn't a for sure way to win other than just luck, literally. So if you lose, it is okay. Just keep trying until you win. If you win the game, they will go to resident services and come back saying there's no room and they will mention a villager name they heard was thinking of moving out. Again, it is important that they choose the villager you intend to kick out. If it isn't, close out the game without saving it and repeat the process until they select the villager you want to kick out. It might take two hours or it might take 30 minutes. It can be a tedious process, but if you are dying to get rid of a villager, I think it's totally worth it. So at this point, I will go ahead and skip to the part where Chevre finally mentions Marcy. So at this point, Chevre goes ahead and negotiates with Marcy and comes back telling me the good news. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, I will go ahead and show you that Marcy will immediately be in boxes the same day. Chevre doesn't move in the next day. The plot will be empty, but we'll say that it is for Chevre. The day after that is when she actually moves in. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Super simple and short video. I hope this helps you kick out a villager you've been wanting to kick for a while. It is a process, but it's a really cool hack that I've done several times. Feel free to comment down below if there's anyone you are just dying to get rid of. I'm always down to listen to tea. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.